chew on this. In the United States, 30 to 40 percent of the food supply turns into waste. That's around 133 billion pounds wasted each year. But while an overwhelming percent of food is wasted, one in six Americans do not know where their next meal will come from. Many are not aware that a lot of the food that is considered waste isn't actually rotten or expired. So, where does all that leftover food go? Big corporations, big businesses like Target, for example, I never knew what they do with their returns or with their food that is damaged or that they cannot sell on their shelf. So it's such a humbling experience to know that we get those donated to us first. My name is Chris Kim and I here at the Second Harvest Food Bank am a food handler and a processor. Second Harvest is one of two very large food banks here in Orange County and we support 312 pantries and partners out in the community that are actually our frontline um, partners to make sure that food insecure families in Orange County, food insecure children and seniors are getting food, nutritious food, um, on literally a daily basis. And we also have a grocery rescue program where we are taking food that is near expiration date or that they're over what the supermarkets need. And when it arrives through our doors, it is our responsibility as a team at Second Harvest Food Bank to make sure that food is entering our facilities safe. It is at those distribution centers, whether they're soup kitchens, transitional housing, pantries, that food insecure families in Orange County, and most folks don't know, there's almost 300,000 food insecure individuals in this county. That's how they get their supplemental food that comes through Second Harvest. You hear about how many homeless people are out there that are in need of food, that are struggling, how many college kids are living in their cars on school campuses just to get by, or how many single parents that are living out here paycheck to paycheck trying to provide food for their family or for themselves. And all of that feeling comes from you wanting to help that next person. You always feel good when you work for the greater good. Um, it's, a, it's a reminder of reality that not everyone has what many of us have, and that's the economic uh, power to buy food and feed our families. So that is sobering uh, to, to, to realize that there is that much inequity and injustice in our society. But the upside is that there are many of us that work to level the playing field and make sure that um, folks have a fighting chance. And at a real basic level, as we're going through today, that people have food to eat. And you sleep better at night knowing that.